Hey everybody, happy Wednesday, May 3rd, 2023. I'm Neil Parfit, welcome to the channel. This is just a quick follow-up to my video I did the other day on my research into 4K video and switching to it. And I was pretty sure I wasn't going to do it based on the black hole waste of time I did on Friday afternoon. And, you know, followed up by so many amazing comments and a lot of incredible information. Yeah, it's not happening. I'm not doing it. <laughs> it's just, why? There's no point. And maybe you've noticed that the video quality today is better. I mean, look how much more crisp and sharp and beautiful and wondrous I look, right? But truth be told, and I feel kind of stupid saying this, I forgot that I had a Fujifilm X100V. I know that sounds ridiculous, but hear me out. I had bought it right at the beginning of 2020 when I was in Tokyo, and I bought it as a travel camera because I like taking pictures with a real camera versus an iPhone. I feel like I make better decisions. Anyway, different story, but brought it back. Then the pandemic happened and lockdowns, and I didn't go anywhere for years. So the camera just ended up on a shelf, and I forgot about it. So. I busted it out yesterday night when I had that aha moment and I set it up and I'm blown away at how much better this looks versus the Sony ZV-1. And I think it's just a testament to good design and, you know, design for a purpose. The Fujifilm was designed as a digital camera that would behave as a film camera, whereas the Sony ZV-1 is designed as a vlogger camera. So it's just a different tool set and... I think you can see the quality difference between the two. The Sony is better at focus tracking though. I feel like this camera is really bad at focus hunting. So I held my hand up and like reached over really far and just set this focus to manual because I wanted the nice bokeh and because of that, the range of focus is really low. So I can't move too much forward or too much backwards without losing focus. Anyway, I'm still going to figure that out. This is, you know, one day in, but the camera looks just as good with uh, its internal uh, lens versus this portrait lens. And I also have the wide angle lens as well. So I think between these three options, I've settled upon and arrived at my final setup to do these videos properly. And how many years has this taken? Way too many. But uh, thanks for hanging in and... I think I've settled with the picture and audio for this stuff. So, yeah, happy Wednesday. Anyway, hope everybody's well, and uh, see you later. Bye.